I am here to show you how to make a quick carrot cake that has lots of flavor, very, very moist, easy to make. Um, everybody will like it. I'm also going to show you how to do a quick cream cheese frosting. Um, but first, we're going to show you how to do this buttery moist cake um, and how to make it come out perfect. Hopefully just as good as my mom's, maybe better. She was a baker and she loved to bake. So we're gonna start off with our melted butter. That is one and a half cups of melted butter. Now for me, I'm a little health fanatic, so I did half butter, half coconut oil. Coconut oil is known for making your cakes very moist. You wanna add four eggs. So in this, if you can see, I've got four eggs in here. To this, we're gonna add one cup of white sugar. And you can do, I wanna say one and a, one and a half cups of white sugar, but um, if you have brown sugar laying around, please use brown sugar as well. You just wanna do like a half a cup of brown sugar. So let's grab that. Got a half a cup of brown sugar. And you have some vanilla flavoring or vanilla bean laying around. Scrape that vanilla bean. I'm going to use vanilla flavoring. You want to use about a teaspoon of that. We're going to stir all the ingredients in with my new mixer, and I'll be right back once I get them incorporated. I'm going to mix for about three minutes. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, that looks good. That looks nice and creamy and very well blended. Now for the dry ingredients, you're gonna do two cups of all-purpose flour. If you don't have all-purpose flour, I believe you can use regular flour with a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, but you wanna use for a carrot cake if you can. Carrot uh, cake, um, I use cake flour. So two cups of cake flour. And for the dry ingredients, you want to do one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to throw those in. Gonna make sure that is whisked in well. The other dry ingredient would consist of two teaspoons of cinnamon. I do one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a dash of all-purpose, I mean all-spice um, all and a dash of nutmeg. I like mine to be very well seasoned, spicy. Mm. Okay, we're gonna incorporate all of those dry ingredients. That baking soda in there and that baking powder and that salt in there. Alrighty. To this, we're going to slowly add in our liquid mixture and blend that nicely. I'm going to blend this for about, I wanna say four to five minutes. I'm gonna be beating it on high to medium speed. When I have the liquid ingredient and the dry ingredient blended well, I will come back. All right, ta-ta. Okay, we're back, got everything blended in nicely. Now we can go for adding our carrots. See how this looks? Mm. Now, some of you know that to make your cakes a little bit more moist, you can add pineapple uh, juice to your cake batter. Um, instead of adding extra pineapples or mayonnaise to make it moist, all you have to do is add a half a cup extra of carrots. So this is two and a half cups of carrots instead of two cups of carrots. Go ahead and add yourself a cup of pecans. And if you like raisins, which I do not, add your raisins now. Go ahead and incorporate your ingredients and get a nice blend and then we'll be ready for pouring. I'll be right back after I get these things mixed up. Okay, I incorporated the carrots the, and the pecans. And of course, again, if you have raisins, go ahead and add you a half a cup. I don't like raisins. I know it goes good in carrot cake. Um, I decided not to use the bunt pan. I'm gonna save that for a pound cake a little later. And plus I wanna do the um, cream cheese in the middle. So that's why I have two cake pans because when I pop them out, we're gonna do a really delicious cream cheese frosting. Alrighty, let's get these in the oven and then we'll work on the frosting. Okay, since we're running out of time, I sort of started the process. What you wanna do is get two cups of white sugar. Well, I'm sorry, powdered sugar. You're gonna blend that together with the uh, tablespoon of water until you get this consistency. Add a half a stick of butter to your bowl and a, uh, eight ounces of cream cheese when you get these, um, get the powdered sugar blended. And then 
Can't do anything without Cool Whip. You're going to add a half a cup of Cool Whip. Cool Whip blend. And then we're going to, um, I guess, base our cake. We're going to do two layers of icing. We'll be right back and I'll show you the final results if we don't run out of tape space. All right, hang tight, guys. All right, I flipped the cake. It's been cooking for 30 minutes, 350 degrees. When I tell you this smells delicious, it's moist, it's buttery. Oh my God, the cinnamon and the little dash of nutmeg coming out on here. Go ahead and get a close up of the texture of that. That is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and icing it up. I'll be back to get you a slice. We got our icing nice and chilled. We'll be right back and you'll get a little taste. Ooh wee. All right, sweet pea. I'm gonna let you taste the first slice. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That looks delicious. All right, babe, go ahead and dig in. <laughs> I got crumbs everywhere. 